Hi everyone. Um, I am kind of doing a late <laughs> review of some goodies that I got from Puddle 2022. I went to a local doll show for me um, near Chicago, Illinois. Um, it's for Pulip and Dal type dolls, but they also welcome other dolls. And so I was able to bring a couple of my smart dolls with me there. And I also brought um, an Angelphilia girl. So I'll just a couple of vinyl girls. I did bring one resin girl. Who was she? Oh, my doll's own UA. All kind of in the anime style. So I thought they would all kind of match to the main uh, dolls that are encouraged there, which is the pile, uh, the Pulip and the Doll. I haven't really ever gotten into those, but I may um, end up <laughs> investing in some for next year because I definitely want to return. It was a very, very fun time. I posted up a few pictures and I was so lucky to meet a number of people that I have been conversing with in all the various doll groups over the last few years, especially um, a lot of smart doll people, and I even got to meet um, some people who are very close to me, like distance-wise, so that was really cool. Um, and I got to meet other people who are just into various aspects of the doll um, collecting and hobbyist community, so anyway. Um, I did post up a few pictures, but I just want to show you guys the goodies that I got, um, mostly so I can remember what I got, plus just to show you guys some fun things that that's out there. Um, when you get there, they give you a like welcome gift bag, and it has the uh, image of the logo for that particular um, theme for the year. So this year's theme was um, Magical Candy Thunderstorm, I do believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, anybody who's watching and knows better. Um, it was really fun. I love candy, I love sweets, so it was a very fun theme to go to for my first um, puddle meetup. And um, I'm just gonna show you the things that came in the goodie bag plus the couple of small items I purchased. I didn't end up getting any dolls, but I was really tempted by a number of things. I just didn't pull the trigger, but maybe by next year I'll be a little bit more into these type of dolls. So. Without further ado, here's some of the things that were in this really cute little goodie bag. Um, this was my badge, and it's super cute too. It has the theme on there, um, and just has my name, Sarah, Berry Wings, and you get a sticker to say how many puddles you've gone to, so this is my first one, and I really enjoyed it. Um, this was an icebreaker, which I didn't have time to do because I had a lot of people coming up to me, which was really great because I guess some of my dolls met some of these themes. It's kind of fun. It's like they give you a list of um, dolls to go look for, and then you have to go up and, of course, introduce yourself to the doll owner and say, hey, your doll meets this description, and just get to chit-chatting with people. I was having so much fun with just talking with people. Um, that I never even got a chance to go around and do this, but a lot of people came up to me. They do give you a um, schedule of events and a little map and some instructions, some information. So that was really nice. I actually never got to look at this either. I was so busy. It was just so much fun. Um, so in the goodie bag and on the table, they had a lot of like candy type things. Um, and some of the candy that I brought home my husband already ate and so did I. I ate some candy but I still have some left. Um, so I had little candy goodies. This is like um, a Star Wars Mandalorian dip and pop. So it looked like it has like those pop rock things. Those things kind of freak me out. I don't know if I'll be able to eat it. Um, I did pick up a um, postcard for delinquency which is October 8th of this year. Um, in Bloomington, Minnesota. I don't know that I'd be able to make that, but um, it's kind of cool. And on the back, they had little miniature passes for your dolls that attended um, Puddle. So it's the same um, pass here. They made little printed ones, so that's super cute. Um, I have a bookmark. Also with the theme, oh, Magical Candy Thunderstorm. That's what it was. I love me a good bookmark. Can't go wrong with that. I got all kinds of business cards from um, various uh, doll artists that are out there, um, plus maybe a few more um, 
other like uh, events. Like this one is uh, the 18th annual World of Fairies Festival. It's August 6th and 7th of this year, and it's called Unicorn Dreams. Did I already miss that? I guess. No, June, July, August. Yeah, that's in another couple months. Um, it's in Elgin, Illinois, which is quite close to me. It'd be fun to dress up a doll in a fairy style and, and attend that. Um, I have a card from Katrine Renee. And I may have made purchases from some of these people. I don't remember exactly what I purchased from who, but I'm hoping I can associate some of the things with some of them. Here I have Quaint Quintess Quintessence. Um, Denise's Dolls. I have Shelby Sawyer. Um, I think I did purchase something from her. It was like some jewelry stuff. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Um, doll Angel Exclusives. If you all are familiar with Doll Angels, like Smart Doll, I have had the pleasure of meeting the Doll Angel artist four times now, I think. Four or three times. I don't know. But we both live in Illinois, and we've gone to several events that we just run into each other, and it's been really fantastic. I did buy some goodies from her. I was almost tempted to buy um, some of the Pulip-style dolls that she had. I didn't pull the trigger on them, um, but they, she also had some um, custom smart doll heads, and I didn't pick up any of those either. I was so tempted. There were so many things I was tempted by, but I just got some little things this time around. Um, I have Art for Loving Heart dolls. Just a postcard. It looks like they do face-ups on these style of dolls. Um, Mota dolls clothing. I might have purchased something from her. And Natalie Miller, Art for Loving Heart. That was another, that was the one we already looked at. Um, and more in the goodie bag. So this was something from Mota dolls clothing. They actually, she actually um, filled stuff for the goodie bag. So it's really cute because I just recently posted about how I have this kind of dream diorama to do a candy store. And after attending this like candy event, or candy themed event, I definitely hope that I can achieve a candy store for my smart dolls. So it's going to have to be pretty big because it's like one third size. But she included like this little candy jar and then like a little ca uh, cotton candy on a stick that's so cute. Um, I have a little like toucan eraser. It's kind of cute, just kind of cartoony. Um, some. Actually, this was something from. There was there was a little like candy necklace in here. I put it on one of my dolls. It was like a little like ball, but it was like mint, like red and white striped kind of, um, on a little red string. So I put it on one of my dolls as a necklace. So it was super cute. I got a sticker. I love me a good sticker. Um, Here's another uh, business card, Cuddle Puss, Cuddle Puss, Cuddle Puss Cus Customs. <laughs> um, I know I've seen her and I interact with her on some of the groups on Facebook. There is some um, like pens and pencils. Um, there was Easter eggs full of candy and those are just super cute. I always love a good Easter egg. Um, some uh, green apple flavored lip balm and it's like Star Wars. It's like... Grogu or whatever. <laughs> it's kind of cute. More stickers, a little bit of candy, um, and another, a little pin came with on the bag just to say the date and time. That's cool. I will definitely add that to my pin banner. And some more stickers and another little eraser. This is like a little unicorn eraser or Pegasus, I suppose. And then a little candy hair clip for your dolls. That's super cute. So all that was just in like the welcome. Um, welcome bag, um, goodie bag. I don't know if all those business cards were, but I put them all in there from some of the um, vendors that were there so I could save them and go back and look at their websites later. But I just, all this stuff was so fun, and there was uh, lots of goodies on the um, tables too for you to just kind of munch on or play with or whatever the case may be. So there was all that. Um, they also had a uh, really cool, like, give and take, like, freebie box. And I didn't realize they would have that, so I didn't really necessarily have anything to give, although I probably could have given some stuff. Um, but I did see in there they had these little paper doll cutouts, and they're definitely in the style of, like, the 
Pulip and Dow, like with the smaller bodies there and then the bigger heads. Um, and I just think it'd be something fun to color and cut out or frame or whatever you want to do. They're just really cute. And there's different images. There's a couple that are just bigger and then I had two that were um, like paper doll cutouts. So I think those are kind of fun. I might color those later. Um, and then this is the goodie bag of stuff that I actually like purchased. Sorry, I'm like sitting here like uh, <laughs> recording in the corner of my house. Um, so, and I apologize if I don't remember exactly where all of these things came from. And some of these things came as goodies with some of my um, purchases. So this really lovely sucker, I just want to eat it. It looks so good. I'll probably bring it with me. I'm going on a trip in the next few days and so I'm trying to re-record a bunch of videos so I can just release stuff every day for people to watch since I won't be interacting with you guys that much over the next few days. Um, at any rate, I'm just going to show you guys the goodies that I got here. And this is something which I'm super excited about. So, um, this cute little bag says Candy Couture on it. It has all these cute little stickers. And inside I do have this business card from Candy Couture. Um, she has an Instagram and she on her card it says Pulip and Dow Face Ups, min, Mini Plushies and um, Doll Jewelry, Pulip and Smart Doll Clothes and she will take commissions as well. But there at the um, candy, Magical Candy Thunderstorm Pulip event, she had a whole array of mini candy and drink things and I am so excited because I have wanted stuff like this for forever and it's getting me one step closer and really like just making me like have all kinds of ideas for a candy store for my smart dolls but before I get into the candies look at these really adorable little drinks so they each have a little straw one is like um, like lemon like tea with lemon in it it's so cute I just adore it it's perfect for summer it's a really pretty color you can see it has like little ice cubes at the top floating um, it's just super cute I don't have a doll to show scale but it's perfect I love it and then here is like a um, strawberry lemonade there's a little lemon and strawberry slices in there and um, again little like ice cubes at the top the straw and it's very clear so you can like see all the fun little trinkets in there um, it's just cute. I love strawberry lemonade and I love me a nice iced tea with lemon slices for summer. So these will be fun to use for various pictures. Um, but here is all of my super exciting um, uh, candy things that I got. So look at this you guys. This is <laughs> a jar of uh, those gummy worms, like the sour gummy worms. These are not edible they are not real gummy worms she made these herself with these I, I assume some type of clay or something and they're just fantastic I just love them you can kind of move them around you can even take the um, cork out I think and have individual pieces out if you want but I'll probably just use this purely as um, a display um, so I got all kinds of little candies so look at this here is some like saltwater taffies. Again, you could take these out and have individual pieces. Oops, there's my alarm. <laughs> um, you can actually unwrap the saltwater taffies and have candy pieces out. It's just, I love it. I love saltwater taffies. All these candies that I got, I just enjoy, enjoy them. I'm definitely like a candy person. So I got all the things that I thought were really fun. And here is a jar of gummy bears. You can see there's just all kinds of colors in there. It's just so bright and colorful and so fun. I love it. Um, what else did I get? Here is some sugar gumdrops. Also very bright and colorful. You can see. These are all actual um, glass jars so I do need to be careful with them but Hopefully I'll be able to make a lovely little display. And then here is a jar of like rainbow, um, kind of like candy cane sticks, but they're not actual candy canes in my books, they're just straight pieces, but I love them. You know how you can get like those 
um, like if you ever go to like Cracker Barrel and they just have like those huge array of different flavors of like hard candies that you can kind of suck on. Um, so all these lovely little things right there are all from Candy Couture and I just love them. It's really just giving me all kinds of fantastic ideas of what I want to do and create for my someday candy store diorama for my smart dolls or really just any dolls to go and enjoy um, a good candy. So I'm super excited by that. So there's all that. And then what else did I get here? Um, 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 um. Let's see. Uh, this stuff is a, this is for my smart dolls. So this was from Kwamara. Um, she had, oh, I'm going to fix this again so you guys can see me. Um, she had a, a bunch of smart doll stuff and I was super tempted to buy one of her boy smart doll heads. It was a grumpy face and I just, I loved it, but I, I didn't pull the trigger on him either because I only have like one smart doll body and I'm not sure, boy body, and I'm not sure if I want to have floating heads for him. Um, but at any rate, I got a smart doll boy pair of like swim trunks and as you can see there's like little blue crabs and stars and then I got for a girl a matching bikini so it's like the uh, bra top and then the um, underwear or undergarment <laughs> I just think they're so cute I can't wait to get a pair of dolls dressed up in these and see um, what they look like so this was Etsy shop Quamara Q-U-A-M-A-R-A -A -A. I can show you guys this up close so you can see that um, let's see, from, let's see, I don't remember, let's see, this is from shelbybysawyer.com shop, and I think I got a couple things from her. Yeah, I did. I'm so excited by this. So, lovely little packaging here. Let me show you guys up close, you can see that website dress. Um, she had, um jewelry pieces and I suppose they really could probably go on various size dolls um, but sh the cool thing was is that she uses natural gemstones so you're actually getting like jewelry quality jewelry <laughs> for dolls and so one of them that I got was this set of bangles um, I believe there are three bracelets in there um, but I just really liked the uh, color scheme that was going on here because they do have um, a doll that I have some plans for um, that I'm hoping that this color scheme will look really fantastic on. So you have like one bracelet there. Um, oop, I gotta pause this for a second. Let my dog in. It's hot outside. Okay, so you ha I have this one bracelet. It has these lovely like brownish amber colored beads. And sorry, <laughs> I have to try to get the light there. And then like these aqua or teal colored like teardrop shaped beads. Um, these are all natural stones, um, and then there's this other one here which has kind of this cluster of teardrop shaped beads, and then more of the brown, and then another one um, with like more of the amber colored beads. I just love natural colored, um, like earth tone colored jewelry for myself, and so I pictured on my dolls as well, and I think this is really really pretty so I'm super excited by that there's those three and then I forget exactly what's in here it's been like about a week or so now since I went there to that show and I kind of forget oh <laughs> this is um, along the lines of those little drinks that I got this is a little bit bigger but it's another um, drink and it is a Minnie Mouse kind of like I don't know fruit boba thing maybe it has like a cream level and then like a clear level with like little boba bubbles fitting, floating in there and then this cute little straw and on the top all kinds of frosting and like a Minnie Mouse cookie in there. I thought it was Mickey Mouse at first but I decided after I got it home that because she has a little flower there next to her ear and the little like white dots on the red it must be Minnie Mouse right? So that's really cute. It's another little 
drink that I can give to my girls um, to enjoy. I just loved all these things that just came available for my dolls. I'm so excited to try all these things. Um, this is from Doll Angel, I want to say. I think I got this from Doll Angel. And I put it on um, one of my smart dolls, and it just fit adorably. I think I took a picture of um, Macaroon with it on. And it's just like a seamed uh, headband. So as you can see, it kind of has like frosting and sprinkles and candy and little like jawbreakers. And it's just so cute. It's adorable. So I popped it right on one of my smart dolls while I was there at the show. It was very fun. Um, I think it's from Doll Angel. If I'm wrong, I may be, I don't really remember, because it could be from this other, this person, Moda, but I don't know, because I do know I bought something from Doll Angel, and I don't necessarily see it in here, and I don't know. I'm not remembering exactly. Anyway, um, but this is super cute. Whoever it's from, I really adore it. And um, this is from Moda. It's another like just headband uh, type thing and it has all those little flowers on it and those little bunny ears are wired so I can kind of shape them how I like. I think that's super cute. And I did get this, these two things from Doll Angel. I'm really trying to remember what it was that I bought. I don't know. Could be that, I don't know. But Doll Angel gave me these two little candies. It's a little cotton ball or uh, cotton candy and then a little black licorice. All going towards my dream of opening a candy shop with my dolls. It's gonna be so fun. And then, as luck would have it, some people that were very kind and um, sat with me at um, my table were people that I'd actually been communicating with before um, the show. We were all new to it, um, but they were all smart doll people and um, uh, gosh, Trisha, Trish, Trish, I don't know, um, gave me some clothing. So this is just a gift from another wonderful smart doll owner. Um, she made this herself. She sewed herself and she gave me another little outfit that I tried on, um, a smart doll when I got home who I named Rose. I posted up a few pictures of her and I'm super excited for Trisha. I think it's Trisha. Sorry. <laughs> I'll have to check. Um, she was also pretty excited by this show. It was her first time going as well, and she's thinking about um, vending there next year. So I'm really excited for her. I hope she achieves that goal and can show off her um, amazing clothing sewing skills um, by vending there. That'd be really cool. And then she also gave me these cute little, um, like, beaded, like, necklaces things for dolls are kind of charms so she made me one that says um, like smart doll and then one that says doll zone because I had my doll zone girl there it's so sweet of her so I brought a couple of goodies to uh, pass around my table too they were just little extra things that I had I don't know if anybody would want them but I brought them so anyway um, that's kind of everything from that show I, there may have been a couple other things here or there that I um, picked up that I don't that I might have already put away or they're on my dolls still um, but I'm just super excited by it, this candy stuff and um, just everything there was so fun I highly recommend it if you're in or around the Chicago area and you're into really basically I would say anime style or cartoon style dolls and even if it's not that type of doll, they say all dolls are welcome. And it's a very friendly group. It's not a huge, huge gathering, so you don't have to feel intimidated. And um, I'm just going to say, like I was saying there to all the people that I met, um, you know, if you're shy about your hobby or whatever, um, this is a smaller scale event, and um, everybody's really friendly there. Everybody's really interested in your dolls and their dolls and just everything to do with the doll hobby and 
you just you feel like you're amongst your people like these these people get you they they like what you have to say they're interested in everything that's going on and it's just a good time so I really really recommend it um, and I hope to be able to make it back next year um, I'm not crafty enough to vend but I would like to maybe participate in some of their more um, they have a couple of like um, events that you can submit entries into like um, the like the dress your own doll I did that this year, or dress like your doll I should say um, that's a thing where you can just dress up like your doll and you just enter into the competition um, there is a couple other of like more crafty um, entries that you can do like meeting a theme or sewing and they have different size levels for different size level to enter um, it's it's just overall I give it a big thumbs up I really really recommend it and like I said I hope to go there again next year um, the only other thing I want to show just as a quick at the end of this video even though it's not being a quick video at all I just showed a couple pictures of this um, this is completely separate from puddle um, at, in my own local town just this this past weekend there was um, a festival that happens every year and they have vendors none of it has to do with dolls at all specifically um, but of course I'm always on the lookout now for things for my dolls and one of the vendors there was called um, inclusive hands you can see it says gluten-free play-doh kits and she, I saw one there and I saw this immediately and, and wanted it for my dolls because of course it's all candy themed but um, I also got one for my son um, which is car themed but as you can see in there so here's their play-doh right it's yellow pink and blue and then they have all these like um, compartments full of just things and it's really meant to be for kids or anybody with sensory issues to get encouraged to touch and play with different um, textures and different feeling things to um, encourage them to interact with things that they may not necessarily want to interact with but this kit is just candy themed I was like oh my gosh that's so perfect I just want to get it for my dolls so um, the play-doh like what am I gonna do with play-doh right but um, I could have them making like candy things or whatever and they have these little stamps so I could have them making little cookies or something like that and then included in that they have this little like um, cake dish and it does open up and you can get all these little like candies in here um, they have they had in here a gumball machine and it does actually function I think but I tried to get one to roll out and it's kind of like Stuck back there. Oh no, here I just got one to come out. So it says sugar. And it's like a little sparkly candy. Um, and then the top of this just kind of pops right off and you can stick it right back in. I don't know. I just, I know this is kind of like not necessarily meant for dolls. And I definitely don't have um, sensory issues. Uh, my son does though, and so I was happy to get one for my son. And um, I'm most happy to get these to um, up my collection of potential things to make my um, dream candy shop diorama for my dolls. So I just wanted to give this a little bit of a shout out here on my videos um, because it's pretty cool. And the um, Inclusive Hands does have a uh, Facebook page there. You can see there at the bottom it says facebook.com slash inclusive hands. They had all kinds of different themed boxes, different uh, sizes too, um, like, I don't know, small, medium, large, whatever. Um, it's really fun, and if you're not even necessarily looking for something for your dolls, but you're looking for something for somebody that you know needs something to occupy themselves, um, or just a kid that needs a little box of goodies, it's, it's really fun, and I think it's a really great idea. So I'm giving that another thumbs up. Um, and that's kind of where I'm going to stop this video at because um, it's coming up on 30 minutes. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you went to Puddle, please comment and say hi. Um, look me up on any of the Facebook doll groups. I am Barry Wings. My name is Sarah, but I go by Barry Wings in most of the uh, doll groups. And um, please hit me up for friendship or whatever. 
and I'd be happy to chat with you more. So thanks again. Have a good night.